Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to yet another important video on Tableau interview scenarios. In today's video, we are going to discuss about working with nulls you know, and fixing the missing values. Okay, so this is important from your interview perspective and also from real time perspective because often many times in real time we get a situation like this where we have to handle nulls or we have to handle missing values so to understand this better let us get to a scenario okay so i'm taking you to my tableau and where i have created uh, a sample data where i have month of sales okay and i have some products like say computers mobiles and tablets and this is how my data is looking so i have sales for each month here now if you observe clearly here for some months i might not have sales for any of my product like say for march okay i have sales for computers i have sales for mobiles but i don't have any sales for tablets so it is empty kind of thing it is empty it is not null but it is empty this point you need to clearly understand what is happening there is no data here it is not empty it is not null sorry there is no data itself in april if you observe we have sales only for computers but not for mobiles and tablets so this is an empty cell here so most of them what we do to fix this kind of situation is in real time they simply go here like we have learned in fi uh, functions so we'll just try to do a zn of sum of sales right now zn will work in which case i'm just taking this and dropping it here let us remove this now zn will work in which case when we have data and when there is null in that situation zn will work right but here the cell itself is completely empty so there is no point in writing zn because it is not understanding that it has to go to this cell and read it okay now let us try to replicate the issue of null okay i'm keeping it like this only for now i'm taking you to a sample superstore our favorite superstore and i'm simply writing a basic calculation to get null okay here i want sales uh, for corporate assume okay so how am i writing uh, if my category is equal to uh, office supplies like let us say okay we'll keep it like this if segment is equal to i'm just passing corporate then give me sales i'm ending it okay so i have not specified anything if you observe here so i'll just wrap it under sum here so that it get aggregated and now when i drag and drop this i'll take this and drop it here now what is happening observe here it is giving us nulls here so technically it is displaying sales only for corporate okay that is what we wanted now client will come back and say hey you know i'm not seeing values here you can either display zero here or you can display any textual information if you want okay but now if i wrap this under zn let us see if that will work I'm just taking ZN and I'm wrapping it here. Now this is replacing nulls with zero. Okay, that way also we can work. So in this situation, our ZN is working. Okay, likewise here we can also use, uh, like say if null of this statement, okay if null of this statement then replace it with zero okay so what is the issue here 
maybe i'm missing an operator here okay so first let us correct okay maybe i have first let us correct this statement and then we'll correct this okay so maybe here itself is error okay now on top of this i'm writing if null open the bracket and i'm closing the bracket uh, after adding zero okay it is valid now if this statement of mine is returning null then it will replace it with zero that is what this is doing now i'm getting the result as expected now this is within the cell but here our situation is a little different if you come back here we don't have any value at all for this particular item now how are we going to you know fix this solution so to fix this we have a function called as lookup so generally lookup is used to look into value of your previous cell or specified cell that you are giving so that is called as offset value so here if i specify lookup of some of cells it will try to check what is the value it has and it will try to bring in null now if i try to write a zn expression on top of this it will fix it see now it is giving me zero but still there is one problem here okay so this now we have achieved this it is fine now observe my month here so after january in february we did we did not have any sales so there is no data for february okay likewise not all the products have sales in all the months right so i'm just going to convert this uh, i'll just duplicate this and i maybe i'll convert into bar chart just to show you the difference and maybe i'll just uh, swap it and maybe i'll rearrange it here okay and maybe i'll keep it something yeah something like this now what i'll do is i'll give control on the product so i'm adding it to show filter and maybe only single product at a time now observe what is happening here so i'll just uh, bring my month to the bottom observe here now what is happening so after january i have march april may june like that now if i select mobiles i have after uh, how many months do i see here one two three four five six plus three and only nine here if i go to tablets i have only have seven so not all the months are being displayed here based on the sales that we have for each products it is displaying the data here that is fine now client will come back and say hey rahul you know i want to display all the months even though they do not have any sales okay understanding the requirement even though we do not have any sales for february march april here still client want to see those months as blanks or maybe as zero value because technically we should show the entire month here on the axis that is the intention now how are we going to fix that so just go to your date field or month click on that and you can click on show missing values now even though you do not have values it is working now no matter even if it is any product you select all your missing values will come so because we have already used uh, lookup value to fix that it is clearly showing this okay. so this way we can work on our nulls and missing values and fix the issue in real time i hope this video was useful if it all if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day